Agil Bardock CZA is arriving on Global, so let's talk about it. And the beautiful thing is that this is one of those CZAs where the amount of options you have to absolutely terrorize Agil Bardock is insane. You don't even have to go full tech, because again, you know, Bardock is obviously AGL. You don't have to even go full tech uh, to make this team absolutely terrifying here, as the category name suggests. So these are all of your leaders and even if you run str cooler or the tr version of him um both are going to absolutely cook the the amount of tax that str cooler lr str cooler is insane and of course once you transform with str cooler the tr version the guaranteed crits are just going to be insane so you really can't go wrong these leaders i think are very pop i feel like most players if you have been playing for any amount of time a decent amount of time i should say you probably have one of these four characters here and if you don't there are a bunch of other options for you to uh you know make this team absolutely work uh, worth it now before i get into some of the characters here and, and some characters that you should specifically run i want to get into some honorable mentions here first one being this free-to-play world tournament lr demon king piccolo uh this character could definitely carry i haven't done any or watched any content on anyone defeating this easy a but this character being able to reduce the amount of damage received that he does with tech orbs and being able to change orbs into tech is definitely going to help if you're running a full tech team if you decide to another character here is going to be this free to play uh, tech cooler being able to stack defense is absolutely fire being able to support the tariff the category needed by three key and 30 percent and giving that team or that category 7% chance to crit is definitely going to help this uh, the team do a lot of damage. So even if you don't run a full tech team, this character is going to be able to support the category as a whole. So definitely you want to run Terrifying Conquerors, and if you're going to do that, this unit here is going to be able to provide a lot of free-to-play damage while looking good defensively while also supporting as well. Another character you might want to consider is Garlic Jr., specifically because Garlic Jr. is supporting all extreme class allies, 3 key, and 40% to stats, while recovering 10% HP if this unit does receive an attack. So if you find yourself struggling just a little bit, um, you know, being able to recover HP, of course, is a very strong ability, so consider him if you do have him. And then this Heroes Toa. So... Toa being able to support 3 key and 40% is of course extremely powerful, but you also have the high chance, multiple chances of extra stats for all of your, um, you know, all of your units here. Another thing I want to say is extreme class ally attack can keep him 60% and recovers 50% HP when HP is 50% or less once only. Having a character that can do this on the team is extremely valuable, especially if you're someone who doesn't really have many of these top tier terrifying conquer category allies on the team. Like if you don't really have that many of these powerful units on the team, this character can definitely help you, right? Being able to give them 60% for the turn, I'm assuming, yeah, it's 50%. And the recovering 50% HP is definitely going to save you. It's like you it's like running an item without actually being able to run an item in this event. So just some uh honorable mentions I feel like you should definitely consider before constructing this team. But specifically, all your tech options are going to work here. You have a lot of strong tech options. We all know that the golden freezes here, the tech golden frieza and the AGL golden freezes just don't take damage. You can run a full Turles team if you want. So STR LR Turles works. Um, you can easily get away with the free to play STR Turles, the physical Turles, the AGL transforming Turles. You can get away with a bunch of different Turles options. You can get away with a full Frieza uh, team here. Uh, golden Frieza does not going to take damage at all uh this full power frieza the additionals are based off of goku right well yeah so the guaranteed credits are based off goku so bark this obviously is not goku but still going to do a lot of damage frieza you also have a lot of other freezes down here like i mentioned the golden freezes are definitely going to work tremendously well for for an event like this uh you can run a full ginyu team now lr ginyu isn't necessarily out for this event just yet so if you want to wait for him, if you're going to summon for him, which I don't really recommend to do that, but if that's your prerogative, then, you know, have fun and do that. But uh, AGL Ginyu, 
as well as his banner units can still easily get the job done. Talking about STR Rakum and Goldo, as well as the Int, Jace, and Berter right there. Because I know that they um, have all of their supports, and, and just being able to be on the team with Ginyu is going to help that team out so freaking much. So, um, I mean, Physical Raditz, obviously don't run him unless... You know, you have a thing for him, which if you do, I'm not judging. It is what it is. There's just, look, there's so many powerful options here. So many powerful options um, that you can't really go wrong. And if a specific character isn't, you know, working well for you, then feel free to change him out. Now, for the most part, you do want to avoid STR. But like I said, STR's cooler, specifically both the LR and TUR, they should generally be fine. Um, like I mentioned, I do think you could get away with this STR, um, what's his face? Uh, STR Turl is here. And obviously that's going to help out tremendously. Well, actually no, because his guard is with facing two or more enemies. Mm. And it's medium chance. I thought, I thought this is one enemy and I thought this is high or, or great chance. That's why I mentioned him. Um, yeah, probably not gonna get away with him. Let's, let's, let's be honest there. Oh, STR Nappa's the GOAT. You can easily get away with it. Dude, this is so many options. This is so many options. It's just literally so many options. I'd recommend building the team out now. Um, and when the EZA drops, you will be ready to go. Feel free to test the team out, um, against, you know, maybe some other AGL category enemies. Just, again, just to see... Um, how well the team fares but like i mentioned so many options here that for the most part you can't really go wrong i will be live uh doing this eza i'm not sure if i'll be live as soon as it drops um but i will be live doing the eza regardless at some point th throughout the celebration so uh feel free if you're struggling uh to catch me doing it live just so you can copy my team or we can talk about it back and forth anyways thank you for watching i'll see you in the next one take care and peace